video, we're going to talk about markets, niches, and products to promote. So let's go over to Marketplace here. And let me just explain what I mean by markets, niches, and of course, you know what products are. A market is a broad definition. For instance, weight loss is a market. Maybe beauty is a market. Health is a market. Okay, so that's what I mean by market. It's an all-encompassing group of niches. Okay, so if we were to look at niches inside a market, so let's say we're looking at weight loss, we could look at women's weight loss, men's weight loss, stuff like that. Okay, so if you pick a market, you can then pick several niches within that market and keep everything organized within your market. Okay, it gives you a lot of things you can promote and cross promote when you pick a market. Okay, and then within the niche, then you pick products that, that belong in that niche. So that's what I mean by that. So what I suggest to do is decide on a market that you want to promote. You can either pick something that you're familiar with. That makes it a little bit easier because then you can write your own articles and so on. You know about it, so it, it's a little easier to do your own work. Or you can go for hot markets that you may not know anything about. For instance, uh, acne or something like that. If you don't know anything about that, it is a hot market. You can still target it, but you're going to have to do research and or have somebody else create your materials for you. Now, if you do the research, you can create your own materials. Okay, so that's what I mean by that. So I'm going to pick a market and my market is going to be weight loss. And within weight loss, I'm going to pr I'm going to target women's weight loss and I'm going to look for products within there. Now women's weight loss also fits within women's health as well. So we have a lot of different ways we can attack this. So let's just go down here and we're going to go into health and fitness. And then let's roll down here. And you'll see that we have a number of different things within health and fitness. So health and fitness could be a greater market, but we're targeting weight loss. So we have diet and weight loss. And then down here, you'll see we have women's health. So it could fit into either of those. Now, I'm not going to narrow this down any further than where I am right now. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do a search. Okay, so let's go in here and we want to search the current category. And then we want to search women's weight loss. So let's search. Okay, so now we can see some of the different products in here. And then there's going to be a number of things we're going to do to narrow down the search for products that we might be interested in promoting. Okay, so the first rule that I always follow when I am looking for products to promote is to stay out of markets where the affiliates are also the customers. So for instance, make money online. Anybody promoting make money online may find people that are buying it and then will use their own affiliate link to get the commission and they won't get the commission. Well, if you're going with something like we're doing here, women's weight loss, the vast majority of people that visit your affiliate link and get to the site are going to be people interested in the weight loss itself and not in trying to steal your commission because they won't know anything about it. Okay, so that's the first rule. Make sure that you stay out of those markets. I mean, if you really want to get in those markets, of course you can, but you take the risk of losing a lot of the commissions to people who are just going to substitute their own affiliate link. Okay, and then um, about markets again, make sure that it allows you to choose from multiple niches and products. So when I picked uh, weight loss, I got women's weight loss. I also have women's health. So there's a number of products that I can go through here and pick out as supplemental products to when I start ramping things up. Okay, so really you're, you're getting started with one product and then you're going to ramp things up and start promoting more products that are related to that.
and we'll get more into that later. Now the reason that's good is because you will be collecting leads as we go along here and you can send those same leads to other products that are related. Okay, so we are building a lead list and we're going to get into that a little bit later. But as you build your leads, you can send them other offers. Okay, so now let's get into product selection. What we need to do is narrow the products that we see here down to ones that we might want to promote. And there are certain things that I like to do. Now, first of all, let's talk about gravity. A lot of people misunderstand what gravity means. A low gravity doesn't mean that nobody is selling it. For instance, let's look at the gravity of this first product here. So gravity is zero. That's, that's a little too low. Let's uh, look for some more here. Okay, so let's look at this one. Gravity 161.1. What that means is that 161 affiliates have sold at least one copy of the product in the last month, I believe it is. Okay, so that doesn't really tell you a lot about total sales. For instance, there may be one here with a gravity of 1. And that gravity of one may be that one affiliate sold a thousand copies and they would still have a gravity of one. So there's not a direct correlation there. So what we want to do is choose a lower gravity because that means not as many affiliates are promoting the product. So we have less competition. Now that's probably really counterintuitive to what anybody has told you before. They're probably telling you that you should be picking the highest gravity products to promote. And that might be why you aren't having the best results, okay? So what we need to do is now narrow this down further. You'll see here we have advanced search. Now there are certain parameters that I like to follow in here. And I like to choose my gravity. And the gravity I like to choose is between 10 and 100. So let's go down into the advanced search down here. So we're going to go show items with gravity and we're going to say lower than 100. Okay, show items with initial dollars per sale. Okay, so we want to make sure that we have a decent dollars per sale so I'm going to say higher than $24 okay average dollar per sale again this what the difference here is that this is factored in with refunds okay so we can just put the same thing in here Okay, now items with average rebill totals. We can leave this blank, but if we get rebills, that's a bonus because of course that means you are getting more commissions for the same amount of work. Okay, but I'm just going to leave that one blank. Percent per sale. Now, this really varies in my mind. Uh, on a lower dollar amount, we may want a higher commission, like on a $25 per sale, we're going to want a 75% commission, say, but on a $100 sale, maybe we want a 50% commission at the lowest. So I'm going to leave that blank. Okay, and I'm going to leave the rebuild blank. Okay, so that'll narrow it down a little bit. Let's do a search here. Okay, and this has done the initial narrowing down of products for us. So it's got things with the gravity in the range that we want, more or less. I mean, we're, we need to look a little more closely. For instance, this one has a gravity of 9.42. So that one is okay. But if you find one with a gravity of zero, you may not want to use that one. Okay. So you're still going to need to look at these and see where your gravities are falling before you go look at the product itself. Okay, now the, next, the rest of the narrowing down, we have to go start looking at products. So let's go and decide which ones we want to explore further.
And you can do these one at a time. You don't have to go through the whole list and see what there is, but we can just have a look here. So let's go with something with a little more commission here. Let's go to this one here. Okay, so our gravity on this one is 47.55. That's great. Okay, we have rebuild at 51%, which means we are getting a, another commission if they keep going with the rebuild. Okay, average dollars per sale, 75% commission, and dollars per sale, 20, $24. That's the initial sale, okay? Now, let's have a look at the product here. Now, you need to look for several things on the sales page. You need to make sure there are no leaks. And what I mean by leaks are pop-ups, things that take you off the page when they click on them. Okay, so here we go right here. If we click on this, where is it going? Okay, it just went to a Facebook page. So I'd immediately discount this product. Also, make sure there are no opt-in forms on the page. Opt-in forms are something you definitely don't want because you're going to be creating your own opt-in list. Okay, I don't see much else wrong with this yet. Let's make sure you're going to have to go right to the bottom and make sure we're not finding an opt-in form. Okay, so these are all okay because they're part of the ClickBank things that need to be there for the policy. Now, let's uh, go here. And go to the order page. And then we want to back out of it. And we're looking to see if we get a pop-up that says, are you sure you want to leave or some gimmick like that? Okay, and we're not. Now, the only thing I see wrong with this one is off to Facebook. And that one isn't that bad. I, I guess that one I wouldn't discount just because of that. But if it was going off to a different site, something that would distract them further, then I wouldn't bother with this one. So I'm going to keep this one because it's only got that one leak. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in my positives. Okay, so what you need to do is sign up for a ClickBank account. Now, I'm not going to go for that. I mean, it's very simple. You just sign up, okay, and that's it. Once you sign up, you'll have an affiliate ID, and all you do is go into Promote. Okay, and a little window comes up like this, and then you just put your affiliate ID in here and create. Okay, and this is going to create an affiliate link for you. So I'm going to open up a notepad session and I'm going to put my affiliate link in here and of course the name of the product. Okay, so the name of the product is Metabolic Cooking Fat Loss Cookbook. Okay, so bring that over here. Well, let's just go through another example here of some sales pages. It's a good idea to get two or three products right up front here, and then you don't have to do this part of the research again for a while. Okay, so what do we have here? We have eat weight off law, lose 10 to 15 pounds in one week. Okay, so this one may be appealing. So again, we are going to go looking through here. and make sure that there's nothing bad on the sales page. Okay, so we're looking for leaks or for an opt-in form, pop-ups. Now the other thing, of course, you're gonna have to look for is you're probably gonna wanna go through the sales copy. I didn't do that, but 
you might want to just read through it and make sure it's not ridiculous or that it's making some weird claim or something like that. Just be aware of the sales copy. Okay, so what I want to do again is I'm going to go down to the buy button. Make sure there's no free trials or discounts or something like that that pop up when you come back to it. Okay. Okay, so let's back out. This one, again, looks okay because we don't have any of those bad things on there. Of course, again, like I said, you're going to want to go through the sales copy. Okay, and of course, this is within our, our niche. Now, we say women's health, but this could be for men as well, both of them. But it still fits. So we'll grab the name of the product, paste in here. Okay, and then we'll go get our affiliate link for this one as well. Okay, and here it is. Okay, and we'll just go through one more here. I'm going to try and find a bad one so you can see the type of thing that you do not want to promote. Okay, so here's one that's a video sales page. Now, the problem is that you can go right off to YouTube here. Okay, so that's a leak. We don't want that. So we're not going to be using this this particular product I'm not a big fan of video sales pages it just pop up and start playing you can experiment with those but I don't use them okay so here's a, a bad one here let's go here okay and it starts with a video which is fine but see all this there's a whole bunch of crap on here and yes, I want a bikini butt now. Now, when you click on this, it's asking for their name, current physique, and what's your fitness goal, and click here to sign up now. So this is uh, getting them to sign up into their autoresponder sequence. So you don't want that, okay? Avoid products like that. Okay, so I think I've given you the idea of the type of products that you want to promote here. So in the next video, we're going to go start setting things up so we can get the sales rolling. Thank you